Hello and thanks for joining me again. I've got another video showing how to colour in one of my digital images from my website Ruth Hamilton Designs. So if you have a little look you'll see that there's quite a few images there. They're all digital so they're not actually physical stamps but you can download them then you can resize them and colour them with whatever medium you prefer. Now obviously that could be watercolours, um, alcohol markers or just whatever you like yourself. So this is just a little guide. You don't have to colour them like this. You don't have to use these colours even. Just whatever you like. But today in this video I'm using some Tonic Studios Nouveau alcohol markers. And although I have other images here, other sizes of them and with different mediums, you can have a look. This is the one that I'll be colouring in the video. And throughout the, the process I've added all the different colours of the markers as I've used them. And as I say, I really just want you to enjoy it and just have fun with it. This is just a guideline, so that they're there to give you pointers, but don't feel that you've got to use them in exactly the same way or exactly the same shades. But just enjoy. Now, this one, as I said, is the one we're going to be colouring. I've got a few here as well. This one's slightly bigger. Um, I've fussy cut this and put it onto some other card, nice patterned paper. And on this one, I've got quite a bit of glitter. I think you can, yeah, you can probably see it there. So that's a nice little idea as well on the beak and some parts here. It's a beautiful spring image, so I thought it would be nice to have a nice shimmer powder background on there and uh, a little die cut round the outside and make a little tag for a, maybe a little present for some, a little gift for someone that you haven't seen for a while. And while uh, the one I've coloured and the others that I'm showing you here are all yellow and lemon kind of thing, I've got this one and it's coloured completely differently with a nice little grey beak and, and feet as well and nice flicks here to make the sort of um, feathered effect. So I'll possibly come back at a later stage and show you how I've done that one as well. So please subscribe to the channel and then you'll be able to see what I'm doing and, and when the next videos come up. And don't forget to go over and have a little look at the website as well. And thanks very much for joining me yet again. Keep safe and keep well until next time. Thank you.